Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Marina. I am Russian. And you know what? Uh, starting from 8th of March, we are gonna have a grand holiday in Russia that is called Maslenitsa. Wanna know more about it? Well, in this video, I will give you 10 facts about this holiday. So, let's start! Maslenitsa is a pagan holiday. Yes, that is surprising because everybody knows that Russia is a Christian country right now. But the thing is that before becoming a Christian country, Russia was pagan. People used to believe in different gods, you know, different spirits, and worship them, and gave them some sacrifices, usually with some sort of food that they brought for their gods. And we had their images carved in wood, staying somewhere like uh, at the side of the villages. So it was like this. And this holiday, Maslinitsa, was dedicated to the sun god. His name was Yarila. And um, he was believed to look like a man with fair hair. And uh, he died during the winter time. And then he uh, came back to life and brought spring with himself. So uh, people asked him to bring sun, to bring lots of uh, warm weather, to help uh, to grow their crops so that people won't starve <laughs> and things like that. So that's fact number one. We celebrate Mazinsa for the whole week. But actually, this is not a state holiday, so people continue going to work and going to school and so on. Um, and uh, now we don't have a special fixed date for the beginning of Maslenitsa. Actually, Maslenitsa depends on, um, on the Christian 40-day fasting that comes before the Easter holidays. So Maslenitsa starts one week before this 40 days of fasting. And in the older days, like in the days of uh, pagan, like in the pagan times, uh, people celebrated this uh, holiday for two weeks in a row, and it took place um, somewhere up at the time of the spring equinox. I hope you know what equinox is. You know, it's the day when your um, when the day equals the night. It's the day when um, at the time from the sunrise till the sunset uh, equals 12 hours straight. In old times, Masinsa wasn't only a holiday when you welcomed the sun, welcomed the sun god to come to life again. It was also the holiday of the new year. Though the new year began in spring, began with the spring equinox. So it was the Russia's pagan new year. <laughs> Through the whole Maslenitsa week, we are baking and we're eating blini. Blini is something that looks like uh, a pancake. I mean, they're fried on the pan, so you can't call them pancakes. But they're not exactly pancakes, they look more like French crepes. One uh, very necessary condition is that your blini should be round, they should have a round shape, and they should be thin. Uh, why we have such a tradition? Because blini symbolizes the sun with their shape, with the fact that they are uh, hot when you bake them, so it's considered to be a symbol of the sun. We don't have one specific type of blini that we eat during the whole holiday. Um, we have many different types and every family has their own recipe that is usually passed from the grandma to the daughter and then to the granddaughter. So we have different types of blini, all kinds. We have a sour version, we have sweet version, we have blini with yeast, without yeast, even with chocolate. So different types of blini. And one more interesting thing, that during Maslenitsa, it's really good to eat as much blini as possible. Because it is believed that the more you eat, 
the more blini you eat, uh, the happier and wealthier and luckier you will be throughout the whole next year. In old time, people believed that Masinsa was also a time when you say goodbye to winter and you help the spring to come as soon as possible. In Russian mythology, uh, winter is uh, believed to look like an elderly a lady, like a woman, and spring was believed to be a young lady, a young girl, tender and sweet and delicate. So usually in the beginning of a Masin, it's a week, people were making a figure, uh, something that resembles a scarecrow in a way. They were making it from wooden poles, uh, straw, and they were dressing it up nicely in traditional clothing to look like a woman. And this figure was called Masnitsa and it actually represented winter. It was placed somewhere in the middle of the village or somewhere on the squares of the cities where people gathered to celebrate Masnitsa. And usually people, uh, people danced in circles around this Masnitsa figure, uh, holding hands. Uh, this circle also symbolized the sun. And at the end of the week, on Sunday, this figure was burned down to symbolize the banishing of the winter. Russian Christians do not eat meat during Masnitsa week, but they are allowed to eat dairy products like milk, butter, and cheese, and eggs. And sometimes uh, this Masinitsa week is also called Cheese Week because of this reason. Well, that happens because actually Masinitsa is the beginning of the grand fasting that lasts for 40 days and that usually takes place before the Easter holidays. In Russian tradition, each day of Monsignor Week is dedicated to some special event. Um, we have days when we prepare for Monsignor We have days when we, um, when we are visiting uh, relatives from the wife's side. But then we have days when, um, on the contrary, relatives from the husband's side go and visit the family, like the young family. So each day was dedicated to some special event. Masinza ends on Sunday, and Sunday is also called the Forgiveness Sunday. Um, this is the last day before the 40 days strict fasting begins. And after people have uh, celebrated and had fun throughout the whole week, now Sunday is the day to sit down, Think about your sins, think about your relatives and your friends, and ask forgiveness. So it's the day to kind of repent your sins, repent all the bad stuff that you have done or said to the people who are near you. So uh, in according to the tradition, you are supposed to ask forgiveness from a person, and the person should reply to you, God will forgive. Sometimes we have funny things happening during this forgiveness thing. <laughs> For example, um, I'm calling my mother-in-law uh, and uh, I'm talking to her and then suddenly I say, please forgive me. And she's like, why? <laughs> you did something bad? You did something wrong? What happened? And then I'm like, well, that's forgiveness Sunday today. And she's like, oh, I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, God will forgive you. So, it's like this. Now guys, you know 10 facts about Maslinitsa and you're absolutely prepared to come to Russia and have Maslinitsa here with Russians. <laughs> we only need for coronavirus to go away. Well, anyway, thanks for watching me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put your likes and don't miss my following video where I'm going to be making blini and blinchiki. Love you. Bye.